Hi, my name's Chris Black. I'm here at the Visitor T booth at NAB 2025, and we are in the studio section of the booth where we're showing what Visitor T can do for any virtual set. In fact, what we're showing here today is several different virtual studios to be able to show you the scale of what you can do with virtual production and XR production. Let's start with Viz Virtual Studio Go. Viz Virtual Studio Go is our studio all in a box that's going to be able to give you a powerful AR presentation with very easy to use tools. It has a camera, the camera that you see here, which is a VizRT PTZ. Uh, this is the PTZ3. It has 3D built into it. It connects via NDI or SDI. Then you have the control interface where Marcel is working over here. And this is going to be a VizArc where you have very simple control of the entire virtual set. And of course, there's the virtual set or AR graphics. Now, for the demonstration that we brought in here today, we are using Viz Engine 5, Viz RT's powerful real-time 3D compositing engine. And we are showing this virtual studio that we have here of uh, Tokyo. Now, Sean is in the studio and he's walking around here. Now, this graphic that you're seeing here is fully rendered in Viz Engine 5. You can see some nice reflections on the, on the uh, floor. You have the nice shadows there. It's all everything doing that we want to be able to tie the presenter into the virtual environment. But to add in that extra level of realism, we are using AI to be able to then also allow Sean to be able to walk entirely around 3D objects in the studio. So if we bring up these uh, bollards here, you can see that as Sean walks around, he can uh, be behind the 3D object. He can have a shadow over there. Yeah, there you go. And he can be completely in front of it. So. Using AI, we are giving you that extra level of realism and interactivity in the virtual studio. Now, let's take a look at some of the other features that we're doing here in this virtual set to add that realism to it. Let's bring in some, uh, how about we change the weather and bring in some rain, Marcel? All right, so now we've got that rain in there. We've seen this in a lot of different virtual environments where you want to be able to change the weather. We have that rain hitting the screen there, but you need to be able to, again, tie the presenter to the virtual environment, that giving you that extra level of realism. So with our different particle effects, we can also have the splashing effects in the pools of water as uh, we move around in the studio, giving you that extra level of realism and tying the whole thing together. Now, one thing we also we want to be able to do here is give the talent the ability to do things such as highlighting elements within the scene. And using XR Draw, we can place the drawing tool into the hands of your presenter. So as Sean moves around, you can see he can draw and he can highlight things. And this is drawing truly in 3D. So you can create depth to the elements that you're drawing. So if you wanted to do some highlights of what's happening on a football pitch, you can go in there, draw circles around the players that are in the virtual studio and have that as a very interactive way for the presenter to be able to tell the story of what's happening in the virtual environment. So you have Viz Virtual Studio in Viz Engine 5 for any size XR production, or if you have limited space and you want to be able to do amazing town halls and have uh, XR environments within any space, we have Viz Virtual Studio Go, ready for you to be able to tell any virtual story.